Student artwork will be submitted using the Miami-Dade County Authentic Assessment Online Submission Platform. This platform can be found on the Visual Arts Education SharePoint page. To access the SharePoint page, you must first log in to the employee portal. To log in, go to www.dateschools.net and click on Portal. Enter your credentials and click Login. On your portal login, find the Microsoft Office 365 logo. Click it. This will take you to a login for your district-provided Microsoft 365 account. Use your employee number at dateschools.net to log in with your portal password. On the left corner of your screen, hover over the icons and find the SharePoint logo. Click it. If this is your first time using SharePoint, you must first find the Visual Arts Education SharePoint. On the top center of your screen, click Search and type in Visual Arts Education. Click it and it will take you to the Visual Arts Education SharePoint page. In the top right corner of this page, it will say not following. Click the star to follow. Now, the Visual Arts Education website will appear in your favorites. Once on the SharePoint site, scroll to Exhibitions. Click on Authentic Assessment Online Submission Platform. If you do not have an account, click Create an Account. It will guide you through the steps. Otherwise, press Log In. Enter your username and password and press Log In again. At the top, you will get a welcome message and the option to enter an exhibition. Click Enter an Exhibition. Find the exhibition you would like to enter, read the guidelines and description, and click it. At the top left corner, click Add a New Entry. Enter your school name. The school mail code should populate automatically. Enter a title for student work, a description of the artwork and materials used, enter the dimensions of the artwork, type in the year the artwork was created, and next to JPEG file, press Choose File. Make sure your file is labeled correctly with student name, student grade, teacher name, and school. If you worked with another teacher on the art project, enter their name here. Next, you will enter your school's region and voting district. If this project was a group project, click here. And always read the disclaimer and check the box indicating that you agree. Now you will add the name of the student or students who created the artwork. Enter the student's and parent's email information, student grade, and student age. If the student has an intellectual disability, check here. Once checked, you have the option to specify any intellectual disability and or challenges as per student's IEP. Once done, click Save Students. If you indicated that this project was a group project, you will add another student. If not, 
At the bottom of your submission page, click Finished Adding Students. Here, you will see the artwork that you have submitted along with the students' names. You are also able to see the score of the student's work and comments after adjudication of their work has completed. If you need to edit anything on your entry, click the Edit button and make any necessary changes during any stage of the submission process. To access release forms, click Release Forms. You can print these release forms out or you can send release forms to students via the student and parent provided email you entered. Release forms are not automatically sent, so you must click Email Electronic Release Forms to All. If you sent a release form and did not get a response, you can also resend the email. You also have the option to edit any details if necessary before printing out or emailing the release forms. View your PDF release form by clicking here. If you would like to add additional artwork, press the back button and repeat the steps. Otherwise, click Log Out.